Good morning, guys. October 4th. I'm Skidoo Ambassador Dave Narone out here on the beautiful mountain bike trails of Squamish, BC. One of the ways that I get in shape for winter is an e-mountain bike. Now, hear me out on this for those of you who might not want to ride a bicycle, you're uh, just having it in a long time. But an e-bike allows you to get the best cardio workout that you can get. Now, hear me out on this. Well, for simplicity's sake, we're going to say there's two types of workouts we can do as sledders. One is strength. The best way to do that is hit the gym, uh, lift weights, not necessarily bigger weights, uh, lighter weights with more reps because you want endurance. We're, remember, we're out all day in the powder, uh, carving, jumping, um, boondocking through the trees, all that stuff. So we need endurance strength. So that's a great way to do that. But what we're going to talk about is what most riders lack in the sledding industry because they don't necessarily come back with come from a fitness background and I do so uh, there's lots of guys out there of course that that do and they know this already but for those of you who are looking to shed a few pounds ride smoother this year and have more fun maybe you're gonna hit Brett Rasmussen's clinic and two things that he says don't drink or drink lots of water and um, don't drink lots of beer the night before and be fit. Uh, if you look at him, he's a really fit guy, especially living at altitude. And that's where we're riding. We're riding at altitude, riding uh, machines that weigh uh, 450 pounds plus. And uh, it's really important that we have good endurance um, and cardio and strength. So I'm going to talk about the fitness part of it, and that's cardio. Most people don't do it because they don't want to go to the gym and sit on an elliptical or a run machine or a spin bike. And a bicycle allows you to get outside um, and you get a better workout because of that, better for your mind as well. And you can do it with your kids, you can do it with your friends, or you can do it by yourself. Now, I've been riding e-mountain bikes for five years. I come from a background of racing uh, mountain bikes at a pro level for 16 years. Uh, and then I got out of the bike industry um, and then came back in with e-bikes. And it is the best workout that you can get or I can get um, to date in my 33 years of, of racing and training and being outside every day. And the reason for that is e-mountain bikes, people think they're motorbikes that you just turn the throttle, which it does not have one, um, and it goes. Or you pedal and it goes. But on an e-mountain bike, you actually have to have a high cadence, which is a rule of a good, a good rider. You have to put pressure down, torque, onto the pedals. And the more you do, the more the bike gives you up to 32 kilometers an hour in North America. So what that means is um, you will go harder because the bike, you won't be able to do 32 kilometers up a steep hill. Uh, so you're always trying, as we are as sledders, you're always trying to go faster and bigger. And that's what makes you push harder. And because you're not getting a, as a strength workout like you would on a regular bike, that would be really hard to ride up something like this steep. You have less strength, therefore you can push harder. I ask anybody if you're running up a hill and you tap out because you can't go any harder, if I made your legs extra strong, gave you a boost, would you go faster? Think of the Skidoo Turbo. Once we added a turbo, were we going faster? Were we going more places? Same thing. And this is what an e-bike does. Now what it does for a person who doesn't ride a lot it, is you will get out on the bike and of course if you won't go along the flats the bike feels it's pulling you along and it's it's great for just mobility and 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 light fitness but what you're going to do is you're going to find the logging roads in your towns or the steep hills in your town and you're going to start riding up them and you're going to see your heart rate elevate and you're going to be in a high cadence and you're getting a really good fitness or cardio workout and what that's going to translate into on the snow is that you're going to get less tired you're gonna sweat less in your gear and you're going to actually ride better. And you're also gonna shed pounds. So I ask you this year to try a e-bike, whether you get one for the road or mountain, it doesn't matter if you don't wanna do mountain bike trails, that's totally fine. I always tell people to get a mountain bike because eventually what happens is you'll start hitting all the hills on the street in your town and then you'll get bored because there's probably not that many. And then you'll wanna go off road onto some just fire roads and then you'll start riding up them and then you'll want some suspension for coming down. So really with an with an e-bikes, you only need one, which is an e-mountain bike. And the better one you get, um, you don't need to spend a ton of money if you're not into really hard single track trails, but the better, you know, the more you sort of spend um, in getting a quality bike with quality parts, 
the longer it's going to last and the more it's going to give you. I ride this every day to a tune of between 800 and 1,000 kilometers a month. I, don't, I didn't do that on my moto, trials, and mountain bike all combined. So this bike gets ridden every day, gets ridden hard, and I absolutely love it. So give it a chance. What I want to see everybody out there this winter is killing it as always, but I want to see you out there, the guys that are tired and, and uh, they have a hard time because uh, their, their cardio isn't there. Get on an e-bike and it, watch it change your life. We'll see you out on the trails and soon in the mountains.